It's a routine that has been taking place for generations on Mexico's Gulf Coast. Fishermen shove off to sea to fill their nets with fish. This particular crew is headed out to catch highly prized snooks. With the help of science, they might one day be farming them. Researchers at the autonomous Juarez University of Tabasco in Villa Hermosa have been trying to breed and raise snooks in captivity in an effort to boost their population. The problem with the, the population of snooks is that it's uh, over harvested. The, the, the demand is huge, the price is very, is very high, so everybody is going after them. So we want to uh, produce larvae in captivity and we hope to um, start producing juveniles either for um, restocking places or uh, culturing the species in um, captivity. The research is taking place at an open-air facility on the beach in Jalapita in the state of Tabasco. With the help of hormonal implants, the researchers have gotten snooks to spawn. Getting their tiny offspring to eat, however, has been harder. The food is very important. The larvae are so small that the, the size of the food is, is being currently a problem. We, we need to find the live food that is the right size for the mouth of the fish. And uh, that's where we are working right now. And also, it's, it's such a nervous fish that it's very difficult to handle them in, in captivity. Sometimes um, just keeping them alive in, in captivity is difficult. Snooks are the most expensive fish sold in Mexico City, according to the Mexican government. Fishermen in Mexico earned more than $25 million for landing about 8,000 metric tons of snooks in 2008, making it the country's eighth most important aquatic product in terms of value, the government said. Uh, for one fisherman to catch one snook, they make their day because it's so expensive that if you have four kilos, five kilos of snook, you can say, okay, I, I have some money in my pocket. Contreras says that with snooks being so lucrative, people are eager to see results from the research, which is partially funded by the U.S. Agency for International Development through its Aquafish Collaborative Research Support Program. We have a lot of people that are just waiting uh, whenever we finally get the first uh, snook juveniles because they said we're going to use them all, we're going to buy them all, just make sure you get it. Ramon Dominguez Sanchez is one of them. He's the president of a fishing cooperative in Jalapita that would like to buy young snooks from the university, rear them and sell them. He supports the research. Yo pienso tal vez que debe de ser algo bueno porque eh, se reproduciría el, el, el robarlo en cautiverio. Entonces eh, se engordaría en granjas y todas esas cosas. Para, pues ya no para capturar fuera, sino para engordar. Y también debe de ser beneficioso porque si es, se poblaría otra vez la zona pesquera. Por si se suelta al mar, o a las lagunas, o a los ríos. For now, though, Dominguez will have to wait. He'll keep setting out to sea just like he has done for the past 40 years. But one day, he might not need that boat.